So we motherfucking back like we did not leave on Mystique Talk X podcast. And of course, we got this beautiful adult film star, extraordinaire, Minnie the Stallion. And we got our uh, special guest host for the day, Trucifer DeVille, hanging out with us. So let's get right back in motherfucking to it. Basically, before we left on our break, we was talking about your first day on set, Minnie. And it was for Hussy Pass Models, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you had a wonderful experience. That's amazing. So let's get right into, you know, maybe the not so amazing. Like, if there is any, like, is there, has there any been any, like, bad experiences or maybe things that, you know, maybe aren't so good that you've been through mm-hmm. being this perfect, young, small <laughs> pocket pussy you are? I feel like uh, before I started porn, um, the thought of doing rim, rim jobs gross me the fuck out for the exact reason what's a rim job i don't know (laughs) this shit grossed me out a rim job is when you eat an ass you know truffle butter like an ass eater a munch (laughs) um so for the exact reason i'm about to explain i was just like super like i'm not eating the groceries that's not my thing um but when i got into porn he's like you would you do it and i'm like "Uh, done it before so i mean i could try it let's let, let's do it let's try it let's try it um so i do this rim rimming scene on set and he's like jerking off and uh you know when guys are like feeling good or when even when girls are feeling good our vaginas will go like this no spasm your butthole will go like this and it'll spasm and when your butthole goes like this what comes out of your butthole when it do this oh not a poopity scoopity oh, shit <laughs> so oh, i put wow. my face back and i'm like cut Cut. What is wow. going on here? Not again. Hey, it happens. <laughs> so that was probably Shit happens. Oh, boy. Shit happens. But uh, not too many. So we not... I'm sure that guy's <laughs> on your no list. Um, so, yeah. So, um, are you dating? Mm, something like that. Is it hard? Like, so you got a boo. Was it hard? Is it hard, like, for you to find love in the industry being, like, an adult star? Or? I think the dating pool is a lot smaller because I'm just not willing to date outside of the industry because I feel like our fans or just regular normal people just don't understand what it takes to live this lifestyle. Um, so I'd rather date someone who also under- is in the lifestyle because they understand it. Um, but yeah, I do have a little boo. Uh, we function very well. We do all do porn. Everything is all great and daisy. I can't complain. I couldn't ask for a better life. Honestly. That is amazing. <laughs> so, like, where do you see yourself going now? Um, I feel like in the, within the next five years, I want to have maybe a production company. I want to shoot something. I want to be more behind the scenes and not more in front of the camera. I want to just, like, make something for... How do I say this nicely? It's not controversial. I want to put money behind us as black performers because I feel like there's no... We used to have West Coast, but like I don't really see... You don't really see no West Coast videos on Twitter no more. I don't really see them promoting no new drops or anything. I know they're still shooting, but like you don't really see them as popular as they used to be. We had all black, but then they merged with another company, so they're not all black anymore. Um, it's, but there's a whole bunch of companies just dedicated to interracial scenes with black women and white men and white women and black men and that's just the standard and I also feel like that feeds the standard of white women are nastier than black women which is why I said we are just as nasty we are just not given the platforms to show it so that whole concept of oh, I'm gonna go give me a white bitch because the white bitch gonna let me fuck her in the ass you know how many girls you know how many black girls are Mystique, we don't do, you we do some ass? anal. We do it. We do some anal. We swallow. We some just dick. gotta be we feeling you. You thought we was feeling you? We no, just gotta. No. I gotta. You know. 
But yeah, we definitely do. And I get what you're saying about just the fact that if the platforms were like, if the opportunity presented itself more often, then yeah. Have you ever been overseas yet? Like in Europe to shoot? Not yet, but I finally got my passport. So it's just a matter of time, space, and opportunity. All right, international fans, Minnie's mm, on her get way. Your boy, passport too. Get your <laughs> yeah, so. Is there anything that you, where they can, like, see you, or, like, are you uh, coming up on ABN, maybe? Oh, definitely going to be at ABN. I might be at the Hussey Models booth signing, so. In January, guys, there. 2023. I think it's the 4th to the 7th. Uh, yeah, and the 4th it, to the 7th. In Las Vegas. In Las Vegas. Resort World. So, we, I don't know, I just feel like uh, the fans know you a lot more. Like, is there anything that you feel like you might want to give any advice to anybody? Like, how is it, like, seeing you in person? Like, are, are the fans, like, appropriate? Are they nice? Is there anything you want to let them know next time somebody <laughs> see you in person? <laughs> I feel like, for the most part, I mostly meet fans, like, in the airport or, like, really congested places. People are like, hey, you're... Are you? I see. Oh, I know who you are. And it's like that initial shock is cool. Um, and I feel like most of the time they're really respectful when they come up to me. They're like, hey, I know who you are. Just want to say I love your content. You're great. And then they walk away. And, and it's like, oh, thanks. You just made my day with a little compliment. Um, but sometimes there's some fans who come up to you and they're like, oh, my God, I love your shit. And they're like, yeah, so how do I get up in there? <laughs> how, do, how do I do that? Is, where do I sign up? And it's kind of like. I don't. I, I barely know how I got in here for real. Like I just blew no up formula. one night. Hello. I just blew up one night and all the companies started coming to me. You okay. feel me? I just exuded that energy like come get me. So I feel like when you exude that energy and you put forth the work and the effort that it takes to produce the high quality right, right, shit absolutely. that people want to consume, naturally you just your foot gonna already be in the dough. You're already in there, but you just gotta put forth the time and the energy and the work. It's hard work. I, we know. We, I know we make it look easy. We know we make this look, look, look like a dream job, but this shit is hard work. And we what are, makes it hard for people that maybe wonder what makes it so hard? Um, like for people like me, I run my own OnlyFans. I run my own, I do my own promotion. I do my own editing. I do my own shooting. Wow. I do my own, I post everywhere on my mini vids. I gotta make other trailers for this fucking, this, waiting for it to load and, just a whole lot of shit. You learn marketing, you learn what not to say, when to say it, when to post it, where to post it, uh, what captions to post it with, what's going to exude the most engagement from what platform. and all, It's a whole science to marketing and just being a business. I feel like the filming part, while that's not always easy when you don't have a cameraman, you're filming it yourself, you just like have it right there. You're hoping all the good shots are getting shot when you're shooting. Um, but I feel like that's the easy part. The easy part is like having that connection with someone on camera and having sex and having that, showing the world that chemistry and showing the world that you're having fun, but you still alert. You still understand that this is a business. You still understand that. I have to edit this to make this look beautiful, not only to me, but to a whole other audience. Because what looks beautiful to me may not look beautiful to y'all. I feel like my writing videos, ooh, snap. Yeah, they're Every very good. Time. But sometimes people are like, we don't want to see that riding shit. We want to see them back shots. That's what we want to see. So I have to, like, just tailor, go about things without a bias. Like, tailor it to all types of people in the world. Like, I didn't even know we were so big on fucking Nigerian Twitter. We all the way in Africa. We mm -hmm. all the way in France. People, like, talking about us in different Shout languages. Shout out we, to like, our international fans. International. Too. Like, we make things that appeal to the masses. And that's not always easy. It ain't easy. Try it. You try it. Let me see how they go. <laughs> so is there any like pet peeves about the adult industry? Like something on a guy that you don't like and turns you off? Like a turn off in sex? Either, I say either in or out the industry. In sex. Any turn offs? I feel like um, in the industry, when guys are reaching out to collab, I feel like when I decided I want to collab with you, the only thing you can do is talk yourself out of it. Because I've already said, oh, I want to collab with this person. I like okay. you. Da, 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 da. You keep talking and showing me what you're thinking. I'm going to say, you know what, never mind. I don't like when guys are like, oh, you're so fucking sexy. I can't wait to fuck the shit out of you. Da, 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 da. Tell me that when we're on camera. Because I've already decided to give you the pussy. You no longer have to work for it. So, like, you keep doing that. It's just going to annoy me. I don't want to give it to you. You're too thirsty now. 
I don't like that. Um, and then I also feel like it's also a respect of boundaries because I don't go, when I reach out to guys, I'm like, oh my God, your dick is so big. I can't wait to shove it down my throat. And maybe some guys would like that, but I feel like you never know what somebody got going on behind the scenes. Some people be married. Some people's in polyamorous relationships. Some people's engaged. You just want to respect the boundaries that you don't even know exist. So if you, if you don't cross that line for yourself and you don't allow other people to cross it, everything be straight. And I ain't never had no motherfucking problems um, in the industry. I ain't never had no call outs, no, Minnie did this to me, and Minnie said this, and she didn't give me my content, and we did this, and she violated my boundaries. None of that ever happens, because I feel like we just have those transparent conversations and all the things that need to happen to make sure that everything is safe. Damn, Gina. Um, so, I heard you was a poet. A little bit, a little bit. She fire, y'all. She just humble, like, really... I think, like, do you have any, like, um, aspirations on, like, entertaining that professionally? I feel like... I think she should. <laughs> maybe, I feel like I want to do more, like, maybe I'll make a page directly just for it, just to give me, like, a push to write more, because I don't really, I feel like all my creative energy is going into, like, how can we be aliens in the next porn scene and make it look realistic? That's where my creative energy is going into. It's not going into like my word play and reading the dictionary so I can learn different words to rhyme with this word that I already know. Like it's, I'm no longer putting my creative energy there. So I need something to like push me to make me write, to make me do it publicly. Well, let's push her, y'all. She's amazing, seriously. Before we get into our um, our ending and we get into our next part of the show, which is my favorite part, either like cocktails and tea or like these trivias. Um, but I love this too, just getting to know you. What separates you in your eyes from another girl? Maybe your same height or maybe who is in the industry or maybe people that are even bigger than you. I'm talking height wise, but you're actually that girl. So like, like what makes you what make you know because you know you that girl right? Okay, cool. as long as you <laughs> motherfucking like, know. I feel like there's other um, short women. There's this woman named Angel Angel Sins. I think she's four eight. Beautiful black woman. Um, I think I just seen her shoot for Bang Bros, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so short. I want to do a scene with her. Um, but I really feel like what sets me apart from myself and everyone else is I'm in a league of my own. Unless you can show me another 4-4 four, four black person, white, black, Spanish, mm. Latina that's doing porn and taking dig like me. Last time I checked, I'm in a league of my own. No one, and that's fine. Like, everyone has a league of their own. Everyone has their own niche, and my niche just happens to be something I was born with. I just use this my advantage. <laughs> oh, motherfucking K. I feel like y'all know hella shit about Minnie the Stallion now. <laughs> like, y'all know that she's small in statue or whatever they say, the definition of Dorf is or whatever, but <laughs> she is mighty. I oh, really, sure. really, really, really appreciate you for coming and giving us, yo, who you are. Like, this shit is, like, amazing. Thank you. Like, let the viewers know if they don't know they under a rock. Like, but just let the ones that may be under a rock, let them know where to find you, all of your, you know, shout yourself out, girl. Let's go. Right. You can find me on Twitter at Free Mini Stally, F R E E M I N I S T A L L I. And you can find me on um, Instagram at Free D Mini Stally, just Free T H E E Mini Stally. Um, and then you can subscribe to my OnlyFans at The Mini Stally. And then also TikTok, The Mini Stally as well. All of my platforms. <laughs> Anything you, any advice you want to give to anybody um, that may be wanting to aspire to be, to maybe start porn? And do you want to maybe say anything to your fans? I feel like um, when people ask me for advice, it's really hard for me to, to give advice because I don't know um, how it is to get into the industry as maybe a regular sized person. I just know that my niche is what draws me drew people to me and that's what got me in the door so like it's like when people ask me oh how do you get in the industry i'm like i don't know people flock to me i can't tell you how to get in it because i didn't get in it so they like they come came over to you here. um so yeah. I, I just want to say for like male male males out there who are like well i want to be in the entertainment industry i want to work with these people one day i know there's a whole bunch of comments on my instagram on my twitter like oh my god i'm gonna join the industry just so i can work with you like you ever want to do that just be respectful 
always stay tested. Make sure you're producing high quality shit. Make sure you're not crossing nobody boundaries. Make sure you're keeping your name and your face clean. And eventually, somebody gonna give you a chance. And when somebody gives you a chance, other girls see like, oh, she gave him a chance? Oh, he might be good. Okay, let me try it. And then okay. other big girls, and then other bigger girls, and bigger girls, and then you just climb up the ranks. This is it. Anything you wanna say to your lovely fans? I just wanna say that I wouldn't be here on these platforms with these big ass people and these legends without my fans boosting me up to the place that I've been and just taking me even higher and making me a household name. I don't I don't I don't know about y'all, but I feel like um I'm still here and I'm already a legend. I've only been doing this for two for two years and I feel like I feel like when I die, y'all gonna remember me. They gonna yeah. know, they gonna remember me. Okay? I'm gonna go Hell on the Hall of Fame. Fucking so yes. Um We definitely tell agree. Them, tell them, tell them. <laughs> but I just wanna say thank you to all my fans for elevating me and even putting me in a position to be seen by all these wonderful people and be able to live the life that I live because this is always the life I wanted to live. And I manifested it, I spoke it into existence, I worked hard for it, blood, sweat, and tears. That's beautiful. And you guys enjoy all of my blood, sweat, and tears that I put into all my work. So thank you, for, okay, thank you guys okay. for all of that. All right, guys, so this is pretty much it for this part of Mystique Talk X podcast. We went ahead and gave you the tea, or mini gate, the tea came to her. Excuse me, <laughs> she had already. We're going to cool it off a little bit for a few more minutes. We're going to take a little bit of short break, but when we get back, we're going to turn it all the way back up for our little trivia questions. We're going to ask Minnie a few questions and see her aspects on a few things. We'll be right back in a few. Don't go nowhere.